Okay, in the previous lesson, we looked at how to solve for zeros or roots of a quadratic function using technology. Uh, if you understood that, we're going to move into a similar type of topic, but in this case, we're not going to be finding the zeros. If you look at this equ equation, so we're on problem number four in your 7.3 study guide, it says using technology. So again, if you don't have a graphing calculator, go ahead and get one and then come back. So we're going to use technology for this. <clears throat> So using technology, it says solve the equation negative 2x squared plus x minus 1 equal to x squared minus 3x minus 7. That's different than the previous lesson because in the previous lesson it always said equals 0. So we graphed a function and found the x-intercepts because that's where the y value or the output is equal to 0. In this question, we're asked to determine where or what values of x would make the left side equal to the right side. Okay, so not equal to zero in this case. A uh, little bit of a different approach, but quite similar. What you do in this case, you want to know the values of x where these two equations or functions are equal. Uh, the only way to do that on your graphing calculator is in your y1 screen. And again, you might want to write down these notes so that you have something to study. Uh, you're going to put in the, the left side of the equation. We're going to graph that as a function. And in y2, we're going to graph the right side of the equation. And we're going to see what those two functions look like. Okay, so left side, negative 2x squared plus x minus 1. Again, you're going to want to uh, do this along with me to make sure you're getting it right and understanding the concept. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to graph those functions. And let's look at the interpretation. So it should have two graphs. And it does. Okay, uh, and you can look backwards at the 7.1, 7.2 lessons if you don't know how to graph functions. All right, so this question is saying solve the equation. So what does that mean exactly? Now what it says is find the values of x where these two sides are equal. So the values of x where these two sides are equal, in other words, where y is equal to each other, is at where they intersect. So the, the x values are, would give us the same output right here and here. So that's where the two sides are equal to each other. Let me go ahead and graph this really quickly. Just put it on paper uh, so we're kind of getting a sense that we know what we're doing. So there we go. And there we go. Okay, it's not the best diagram, but the points that we're looking for are these two right here. Okay? And we only need the x coordinates, so it's going to be uh, x equals something and x equals something, because we want to know the two values of x where those sides are equal to each other. Uh, so in your calculator, you've never done this before, there's a new way to find that. Those aren't called zeros, so if you press second and then trace, you'll see here number five says intersect. So you actually want to determine where they intersect. So if I go down to number five or press the number five, it's going to ask me three questions. It says first curve, in this case, it doesn't say left bound, so you actually just go close to where your first intersect is, which is here. Press enter, then it will say second curve. Go close to the intersect again, so there's no left bound, right bound guess. Press enter, and it's going to ask for a guess to where the intersect is, and just press enter again. And there's our value of x. We're not interested in the value of y. We're interested in the value of x, so the value of x would be negative 0.89680.53, or I'll just make it negative 0 0.9 okay and let's do the second intersect so press second and then trace and then go down to intersect and again this is not asking left bound or right boundary it's just asking for a guess so in the first curve go close to the intersect hit enter second curve go close to the intersect which it already is press enter and the guess should be close to the intersect. Press enter again, and the value of x that makes the two sides equivalent is 2.23, so that's your second solution. So what you're going to want to do now is see if you understand the concept by doing a question in your study guide and getting uh, me to initial it to see how you understood it, and then after that, you can move on to the 7.3 study guide, uh, problem number five and part C below with the YouTube lesson.